Okay. Oh, hey, what's going on, guys? I'm just sitting here, you know, uh, talking to you, actually. I'm, I'm replying to all your comments. I just got off work, and this is what I do at the end of my day. Well, that, and record episodes. It's time to put this up, because I'm really glad you're here. Because the postman showed up today and dropped off this. I wasn't really sure if I was going to pick it up, but I had a lot of requests from you, the subscribers, and so, <laughs> asking ye shall receive. So join me as we dive deep <laughs> into the newest edition of the Lunarosa line. Cue that intro. What's going on my beautiful fragrance family and welcome back to My Two Cents. My name is Brian and this is the show all about boosting your confidence through the art of fragrance and becoming a lasting scent memory. So to be quite frank with you, I, I wasn't sure if I was going to pick up the newest addition to the Lunarosa line. Now I love Lunarosa Carbon. I like the original Lunarosa. I also like the Sport. But Black on the other hand, I love Lunarosa Black. And actually, Luna Rosa Carbon and Luna Rosa Black is a great layering combo. So you should just give it a whirl sometime. Don't take my word for it. Try it. So how does this match up? Is this going to be the new Luna Rosa? Is this what everybody's going to be talking about? Well, before we get into my first impressions, I just want to go over a quick couple things with you. So now that we're over a thousand subscribers, and thank you so much to all the subscribers because it is because of you that we are here. And now we have a huge family tree and it's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And I did promise you that I would be doing a thousand subscriber giveaway and that is going to be for the US and the UK. Well, that's not happening today, but it is going to be happening this weekend. I'm waiting for a few more things to come. They should be here before the weekend. But this weekend, I will be announcing that giveaway, so stay tuned for that. And since we are at a 1,000 subscribers, I am also going to be doing a live stream. In fact, as soon as I get done here, I'm going to be setting up a time, and I'm going to let you guys know. Also, if you are new to this channel and you enjoy talking about all things related to the fragrance, then you're in the right spot. I would like to invite you to join our fragrance family by hitting that subscribe button down below. Don't forget, hit that notification bell so that you know when I'm posting new content, announcing giveaways, and announcing the winners. Throw me up as many of these guys because it helps my algorithm and helps the growth of this family. Also, before I get into this first impressions, what are your thoughts on the new Prada Luna Rosa Ocean? Have you gotten it? Have you gotten your nose on it? What do you think? Let me know. Leave me a comment down below. Okay, now that that's out of the way, it's time to get into, hey, Ted Nugent called. He wants his shirt back. Whiffs and sniffs straight from Milan. And unfortunately, it took a little while to get here. And they also started carrying it while this is in transit from Milan at my local Dillard's. Yeah, my fragrance ladies did not let me know about this one either. So that's okay. I'm not mad. They asked me if I wanted to get it while I was there this last weekend. And I said, no, I don't want to smell it because I want to share it with my fragrance family. I'm doing my first impressions with them. Wrapping's off. It's time to go. All right, I know you guys have probably already seen this, but here we go. I like the dark blue with a like kind of black gradient on the bottom. All your ingredients and legal information on the back. Batch code information on the bottom. All right, that's the box. Who cares, right? Box is done. With every Luna Rosa, you get this protective little cap that I don't care about. I never use it. All right, actually, I really like this bottle. I have seen reviews on this, so I've seen the bottle before. And I also follow iFragrance Official on Instagram. Speaking of Instagram, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Batch code information on the bottom. I really like the red dot for the atomizer. Pretty cool. I hate when atomizers are all black or all white and you can't find the sprayer. So Prada always has great atomizers. I love these atomizers. Now, is this going to smell like carbon? Is there going to be carbon in the DNA? Is the original Luna Rosa going to be in this? I don't know. We'll find out. Okay, I, I, mm, all right, definitely bergamot up top. Or do you remember the notes? I think it's like bergamot, artemisia, and lavender, which right up top, I'm gonna, I get bergamot. The artemisia uh, gives it kind of a little bit of a scratchiness. I'm just gonna be honest, not in a bad way. It almost kind of smells along the lines of like clary sage, but it's not. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray this on skin. I just got out of the shower. I just wanna see what it smells like on skin. So here we go. I don't trust cars, as you know, and yeah. Okay, definitely screw the card. Yeah, all right, so this is a lot better. You get this really nice bergamot, like citrus up top. 
the artemisia comes rolling in as like some nice aromatic touches to it. There's a little bit of spiciness. Okay, lavender. I am getting some nice lavender in it. Oh man. And the lavender actually starts taking place of the artemisia quite quickly, but they, they're blended very well together. I'm enjoying it. It's not like super mind blowing whatsoever, but it's good. Now with the name Ocean, I was expecting it to be maybe aquatic or maybe a little salty. And I am getting a little salinity and I'm thinking that is also coming from the artemisia. Okay, now that it's, it's starting to settle down, the lavender is really taking hold and there is some sweetness popping up. Okay, there is like a little bit of a leatheriness, but I don't, I don't remember leather or anything like that being in the notes. The thing that I'm not really noticing is iris, which as we all know, Prada is known for their like beautiful soapy iris. I can detect it, but it's more waxy. It's, it's not like powdery or soapy. It's a clean waxiness. And there's a lot of musk going on. Lots of clean musks. Lots of clean musks. This is a fresh fragrance. It's very fresh. And, and that saltiness is still kind of there, but it's not overly salty whatsoever. This is a very well blended fragrance. It's actually quite different than the rest of the Luna Rosa. Not mind blowing though. I still honestly, for right now, I like the carbon better. And a lot of people say, well, carbon's just like Dior Sauvage. To me, I like it better than Dior Sauvage. It doesn't give me as much of a headache if I spray a little bit too much. I really enjoy the coal carbon in it and I like those metallic touches. I've always enjoyed the smell of like fresh stainless steel. But this doesn't really have carbon in it to my nose at all. I'm starting to get like a dry vetiver, not, not a heavy vetiver. The sweetness, the caramel, I don't get a whole lot of the caramel. There is some sweetness, and I'm guessing that's coming from the caramel, but to my nose, aromatic. It's very aromatic, with like almost a bit of a salty sea breeze feel to it, and a waxy iris, and then you're gonna have like this kind of green dry vetiver. And now that it's actually settling down even more, that iris is becoming more predominant, and the lavender's kind of sitting back. It's good. Honestly, I'm quite impressed. Since I just got out of the shower and I'm not wearing anything, I'm gonna wear this. Yeah. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna give this a little bit of time. I'm, I'm gonna give this like 30 minutes and I'm gonna come back. So don't go anywhere. It's not like you actually have to go anywhere. You'll, I'll be back in like a second. Okay, I'm back. So it's been 30 minutes exactly to the T. Actually, I don't know, not exactly 30 minutes, but it's been about 30 minutes. So what I did is I actually sprayed Luna Rosa Carbon on this hand and been allowing the scent bubble to just waft around me. After about 30 minutes of dry down, I actually get a little bit of the Luna Rosa carbon in there, but I, it's coming from the original Luna Rosa DNA. And I get a little bit of that fresh, waxy, beautiful, soapy iris now. But also what I'm getting from it is this kind of suede accord. The spices are kind of just die off. There's a little bit of like a saffron and suede going on, but it's also very subtle. The vetiver is clean and dry. It's some really nice clean musks. It's a really nice fragrance. And honestly, after 30 minutes, it's still projecting quite nicely. And it's got a pretty good sillage. And after about 30 minutes, I'm starting to get that caramel. Maybe it's because it's stuck in my head that I know there's caramel in this but it's not overly sweet. It's just like a caramel dusting on top of like flowers. I don't know how that's the best way to describe it. It's like you get that little bit of sweetness, but not a lot. It's, it's actually very well done. Not the most impressive and out of this world fragrance that's come out this year, but this is honestly a little bit more unique than most of the designer offerings that have been coming out. And honestly, it's not super young smelling. I feel like this fragrance has a really good age range with it. So, I mean, you could wear it if you were younger. If you were a more mature gent, it would work good for you too. This is definitely office friendly. This is inoffensive. Man, eh, quite mass appealing. It's a designer fragrance, but it is quite unique. It doesn't smell like every other Luna Rosa. And though that DNA is still in there, I like it. 
I like the nice fresh citrus opening with a little bit of saltiness from the artemisia. I like the spiciness that's going on in it, but that dies off once it gets into the heart and starts drying down. The vetiver is super clean and I really enjoy the iris, but I like the transition from the lavender into that iris, like how it just blends and melds together. Though that, that lavender is still there. Though the iris just kind of opens up and just blooms. I, I really enjoy it. So my two cents on Prada Luna Rosa Ocean, I think it's really good. I, I wouldn't say great. I don't know what the performance is going to be like with it, but just by spraying it and wearing it now for, you know, 30 minutes or so, I still have a really nice scent bubble. And I, I feel like the ingredients in it are just going to be not a huge projector, but you're going to get a pretty good sillage for the first hour or two. Yeah. I enjoy it. One out of 10, I'm gonna give this a seven and a half. It's not like everything else that's been coming out. This is a lot more unique, a lot more mature, though also could be worn by the younger gents. So I got a 50 ml and this was $75, which that's all I need. A uh, 100 ml I think is like $95, 100 bucks, somewhere around there. Yeah, it's definitely worth a whip and sniff. I would suggest heading out to your local department store and uh, yeah, get your nose on this. Ask for a sample, a little decan. I know they got them. And yeah, see for yourself. I think it's really good. Not great yet, but really good. So thank you for inspiring me to do my first impressions on this. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad to have this in my arsenal. So there it is, guys. My first impressions of the new Prada Luna Rosa Ocean. Not exactly what I was expecting because I was expecting it to be a little bit more aquatic. It's called Ocean. It does have that nice saltiness to it, a nice fresh, citrusy, semi-fougere. Yeah, I thoroughly enjoy it. So that's it for me today, guys. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your evening. If you enjoyed today's episode, then do me a favor. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And always remember, you're stinking beautiful. And until next time, happy scent trails.